Porter, what what stands out to you about Arkansas, and did anything on their ta of their tape against Duke uh, show you anything? You know, Arkansas, what you think of is extreme length and athleticism playing really hard. That's what they do. They play really hard. They play. They get their athleticism into the game. They're long, um, athletic. They got multiple scores, but uh, you've got to you've got to match their effort with their with their athleticism. What has stood out to you maybe the last couple of years of, of going to Tulsa, playing them this early in the season? What, what do you think it does for your team? What do you what do you take away from it? It's a, it's a, it's another great game. It's another you know we've we've played a, a high level games and uh, it's another high level game uh, in a great atmosphere. I think Tulsa does a great job uh, with the event and uh, with the series. And uh, but um, we got we got a lot of respect for Arkansas. We we know what they do we, uh, in terms of how hard and athletic they guard you and. Uh, offensively, they just got multiple weapons offensively. Talk about multiple weapons offensively. They got multiple shot blockers too. But what does that do for your offense as far as how you have to kind of attack that? You know, we got to match aggression with aggression. I mean, I know USC Morgan had 10 blocks the day before we played USC, and um, you, you just you can't be afraid of it. I and mean, you're going to get your shot blocked. They're going to block our shot. Um, we've got to uh, we've got to continue to be aggressive and and not be passive because they have elite shot blockers. They do. They have elite shot blockers. And we know they're coming, um, but you just can't be you can't be passive. How special are these opportunities? Regional opponent, neutral site, early season, getting that attention. You know, it's another great game. You know, we, we, we look at uh, opportunities. Um, you know, for us, uh, you know, it's another great game against a great team. And uh, you know, I I know Arkansas. They, they do it every year. They're going to be there at the end. They're going to be playing really really good. They're um, they're an outstanding team. What are you mentioning on Tuesday? You really like that JVN and Los were playing really well together. What, what do you, when they're playing like that, what do you like about the way those two complement in each other in, in the backcourt? It gives you multiple guys that can handle the pressure, handle the guards. You know, Arkansas is going to pressure you, and uh, it gives you multiple guys that can that can handle it. Um, multiple guys that can create. Um, both of them created for other people. You know, they. You know, I, I think of Javion drove down the lane. He dropped it off to Sam for a dunk. He came up the ball screen. He dropped it to Sam for that. You see, Lowe's did the same thing. You got two guys that are very, very good passers. So I think that's just a weapon when you get more guys. And I think they're getting more comfortable. You know, playing off each other too. They can get each other shots. And uh, that you know, I think that they're just getting more and more comfortable doing it. Has this been what you expected from him, or has he been even a little bit better than what? Oh. Uh, Javion. Oh, Javion. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is why we recruited him. We thought he'd bring speed and scoring. I've been, I've been saying that for all summer. I, you know, I, I, I said many times like people are going to remind you of a, a guy like Hollis Price who can really score, who can really plays with an energy. Uh, he's fun to watch because he plays hard. Um, and uh, but that that's we we wanted to add speed and shooting and scoring and 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 uh, so that this is what we. We envision. I know he's just, and I, he and ourselves, we know he's got another step, as all of our guys do, another step to get better. Kevin Marsh the other night said he was kind of like Allen Iverson out there for a big East coach. That's yeah. Kind I of mean, <laughs> I think Javion does. He, he wants to be Javion. You know, I don't think he wants to be compared to anybody right now. I mean, I think he's just trying to be his best self, and that's what I like about Javion. He's he's working. He's, he's a student of the game. He studies different things and. Um, he's trying to be the best JVN he can be, and I think that's that's the big thing for him. You know, comparisons take away joy. You know, I just I think comparisons take away joy, and uh, be the best JVN you can be, and feel great with it. What's the vibe of this team right now? You guys continue to move up the top 45. I just think from the outside looking in, they seem more confident maybe than they were a year ago. Have you noticed that from them, or is there something different that you see? I think confidence comes from preparation. I think confidence comes from all the work they put in this summer. I think confidence comes from just doesn't come from, oh, we had a good game. There, there are confidences there. Confidence comes over work, periods of time. And uh, that's what I think that, that's what I think their confidence is coming from. I mean, they, they, they invested this summer in coming together. They invested this spring or this fall in, in the different boot camps we did and just of, of coming together. And that's what I think you notice for our team is they're playing together. We space it, we share it, we're together defensively. And we got a long way to go, but like, that's what confidence comes from. It just doesn't come from one magic win. How do you handle all that praise nationally? Do you tell the guys to ignore it or embrace the expectations? Or I tell how, them how? it's part of the process. Yeah. I mean, where we want to go, it's going to be. It's part of it. If you're not going to 
get where you want to go without some accolades in the high. But it, you just can't get too high and get too low. I mean, you know, this is it's the same thing. When you lose, you just can't get so down. It's just basketball's a long season. There's many opportunities, many games. You got to keep keep grinding, get better. But you know, we talk about it in stride. Like this is what we wanted. I mean, this is what we wanted. I mean, it's not what we're celebrating. It's not our destination. It's not what we're celebrating. And uh, I think our guys have done that. I think they've played hard. They've come back. And uh, we got a huge test, and they all know it. They, they, Arkansas there and Tulsa is going to be a, a huge game for them and us. And um, they're really good. And uh, so are we. And I think it's going to be a great game. When you look at the talent and physicality Providence had, then the Tuesday, Saturday turnaround, the talent and athleticism, is, is this a great barometer for the newer guys to say, this is a week in the Big 12. This is what it's going to feel like week over week once you get to conference play? It is. It is. It's just, I mean, you got two high level teams um, playing this week. And uh, so that, that's, the way, that's the way the grind is going to be. So um, we really haven't talked about it like that, but that's, that's the way it is. And it's, it's uh, back to back, um, physical, athletic teams. And, uh, but that's where we're in. And that's, we just look at it as another opportunity coming up Saturday. It was big, especially the way they were guarding her. I mean, they were they were playing that uh, drop coverage, and uh, it becomes like an NBA two-man game. And you need your guards to be really good in that decision making, passing, and Los and Javion were outstanding. And then how about them getting between the two of them? They had 19 rebounds, 12, and so they did a lot. They had great. I mean, those two really did a lot in that coverage. And uh, you know, Jalen Moore's been been great all year, and his energy. He brings a lot of things to the table defensively, rebounding, athletically. Um, so uh, and that's the joy of, I think, right now, of our, our team right now is, you know, some nights like John Hughley was really good at USC. I thought Sam was really good the other night. There's no jealousy. There's, I mean, this is, this is what the culture you try to build is that, you know, different guys, different nights, be happy for them, put the win, let's go next one. And uh, that's, that's definitely a couple of those guys' mentality uh, moving on to Arkansas.